Hello everyone and welcome back to The Little Quilter. I know it has been a moment since we have been working on our reindeer quilt, but we went on vacation. I had a little bit of a break in filming and quilting and sewing, but now we are back in it and we are going to be finishing up this reindeer quilt. So as you guys know, I completed all of the little reindeer blocks and now I am working on the secondary block pattern, which is basically little Christmas tree type pattern. So lots of half square triangles that we're gonna be cutting into and I've got all of my fabric cut. So let's go ahead and jump into getting this done. Okay, everybody, I have got one part of the block done. So I'm gonna make several of these and then I'm basically gonna do the exact same thing, but with these colored fabrics or the print fabrics as it were. So I've got a bunch more to go. Let's jump into it. All right, everybody. So what I have finally finished is the blocks for the background. So I've got all of the tree blocks completed that are gray and white, as well as all of the print backgrounds done too. Um, really love how they turned out. Most of the points are pretty good. The main way I achieved that was as I was piecing those, whenever I would, I would flip them over and always sew so that I could see the triangle portion of that. So I didn't cut over the top of that. That's the main way that I kept that up. But now I have a giant stack of these that are pinned and ready to be sewn so that we can sew each of those blocks together basically to end up with, let me show you, maybe basically to end up with something along this lines. So I've got all of those to do. And once I've done that, we're gonna be able to lay this quilt out so I can finalize the design because obviously I have this one red nose reindeer and I kinda of wanna decide where I wanna put him in this pattern as well as coordinating with all of the other fabrics that are in this. But it's starting to come together and we're so close to the finish. So let's jump into getting it done. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys really quickly whenever I was talking about sewing these together and not cutting off the triangle tips or the points. And basically what you wanna look for here is this mark right here. And that is gonna be where that angle is gonna start going in the other direction. So when I sew, 
I want to sew right adjacent to that. Same thing right here. You can see where the fabric, colored fabric is in the white. I don't want to go past here. If I sew over here, I'm going to have a blunted tip. If I sew too far over here, it's not going to be blunted, but you want to try and keep them even. So if I'm sewing right along this spot right here, you get a pin. So if I take my needle and sew it right on that line, and maybe just a smidge to, to the right of that, then what I'm going to end up with is a really nice point. And trying to stay consistently there will help me to keep all of these points nice and even. So just wanted to illustrate that for you guys. So just keep an eye on that. That's why I really like having my quarter inch seam foot. So this is my quarter inch. I've also got my seam tape under here just to help as well. I can't believe it, but it is done. Here are all of the blocks for the quilt. So we're going to get to laying these out and get this together. Okay, so what I decided to do was the webbing technique, and I kind of messed up on that first row, but I was able to do it with the rest of the rows. So just to show you what I've got here is this. And then of course they're all connected down here. Um, so that kept everything nicely in order and so the next thing is going to be going ahead and what I'll probably do is iron all of these seams and then sew each of those rows together. And then the final thing will be sewing this row onto it since I kind of messed up on that webbing technique, but that's okay. We are a few steps away. Okay, so I have finally finished it. See if we can get it off here and lay it out for, for you guys to see, but it is done.
Okay, everybody, so that is the reindeer crossing quilt finished. I hope that you guys have enjoyed the entire process of me making this quilt. Um, it is now going to be in the works and planning for how we're going to actually quilt it on the long arm machine. So as we get to that, I hope that you guys will enjoy it. I have lots of other quilting projects coming up, and I hope that you all will enjoy them as well. And of course, we've got to finish this red sampler quilt right here next to me. So looking forward to seeing you all in the next video, and have a great day. Thanks.